up, there he is. There's Sir Herbert Gerbil Fanny. Complete with his tweed suit and pink, uh, pink shirt. Yes, 15 minutes, yes. Uh, I need... Well, I need to get some food. Oh, yeah, I've got thermite. I forgot about that. <laughs> All right, let's get the taxi out, shall we? Access the garage. Vehicle list. Uh, the taxi is here. There it is. The taxi of legend. The watermelon taxi. Looks like a retired college professor. No, he doesn't. He's wearing tweed. Therefore, he's very British. Um, what is this? Arcade bar? Ooh, there's an arcade. That's cool. That must have been in today's update, or recent update, anyway. Oh, here we go. There's a, there's a grocery store right here. I think I'm, I'm, still, a, I'm still a taxi driver, aren't I? Yeah, I am. All right, cool. Uh... Uh, there's university. There's both. There's, um... Colleges are usually for people who are 16 to 18, and then university is those 18 above. Higher education for a, uh, for a, de for a degree, so... Someone must have just opened that. Yeah, 50 apiece, I know, right? You're a depressing trash man. <laughs> Of a depressed trash man. <laughs> right, we're just gonna get some uh, some food from here. Yes, it's role play, sir. It's role play. We have to do these kind of things, otherwise uh, the, the the police can arrest you. Uh, oh, that's new. Belgian fries. Oh, Wonder Waffle. Is that to have a diet streak of season is wonderful? Wait, what? The Red Mafia, notoriously known for chain robbing banks, are said to have a diet strictly consisting of this very wonder. This was allegedly required by their leader, a Legion Square police murdering psychopath. What the hell? Green Apple. They've added a bunch of new clothes. Uh, new clothes. New foods and stuff. Right, I have to get a bit of a stock up here. I could obviously just get in a map. Can I stack these? <gasps> I can stack them! I didn't even realise! I should just, get, like, buy an amount, really. Instead of doing it like this. Amount, five. Give me five sandwiches. There we go. Let's get a wonder bar. I'm, I'm, or a wonder thingy-majig. I'm, uh... That's not it. Give me one of them. And an apple juice. I've treated myself. We spent a lot of cash just now. No, cigarettes were in before. They were in before. Right. Wonder Waffle. How's this, Herbert? Is your Wonder Waffle... What does, that, what does this actually do? It gives me quite a lot of health. I expect it to be higher, if I'm honest with you, because I think it's a freaking wonder bloody waffle, but you know. Uh, use. Alright, we're fed and watered. The green apple was crap. But we are fed and watered for a bit. So we need to get rid of this thermite. I have no idea what that does. Um, so last time, we managed to figure out... Um... <clears throat> That we can do diving and stuff uh, over over here, which gets us a decent amount of cash. So we will do that at some point this evening. We'll have a little bit of a cruise around for a bit, see what's going on. Maybe go and check out the arcade later on. Uh, I do need to get the place fixed at some point. We'll keep going up to here now. We know where our uh, the lady, which we went to her, um, whatever it's called, her wedding was. Me and Ryan are trying to get hold of and buy up the uh, the golf course. We need to raise a bit more cash. Uh...
So you can't ask. You got acid and pistol, but you have to obviously sell those to um to criminals, right? Otherwise, because obviously you ain't gonna get anything for those. You can't sell them anywhere else, as far as I'm aware. Unless there's places you can sell them, I don't really know. Wait, that just come saying refill car? Oh. I think acid is just one one uh, one kind of. Uh, yeah, we might be able to get the casino, um, but I don't know if that's just them trying to get it up and running from somebody. They said it's been in the works for like six months. Uh, but I don't know if that means that they're trying to implement it onto the server, or if they're trying to find someone to run it. Not entirely sure. Uh, but I'm going to have to go and... How much money have I got on me? I figured out as well, you can do slash cash. And it tells you how much cash you got on you. <laughs> 200. Alright, so basically, uh, I want to get to 500 on me. And then I can go and buy a... Uh, another air tank. Tell you what, let's head to. Wait, is this the same? Oh, that's the same one. Let's head to pillbox. Head to the hospital. As uh, that tends to have people looking for taxis and stuff up there. marksman for hire. I don't know how that would work. Um, because you can't... You can't roleplay your way into that. Especially for the person you're, you're being hired to kill. You would have to be... It would have to be something up close and personal. You couldn't... You couldn't... You couldn't just be a sniper and go and sit on a roof and wait for someone. You'd, uh, you'd have to... There'd have to be some kind of a roleplay if you to get to that point. Um, you know, to keep, to keep in line with the rules, basically. Otherwise, yeah, you can join gangs. Um, I don't know how you join gangs, but I guess you can go to the areas which they, they control, I suppose. Yep. There's like 200 people on this server, I think, and everyone on it is role-playing. So you've got people who are police, you've got, like, doctors. You've got all sorts. <clears throat> you may not always come across people, but yeah. I'm a taxi driver at the moment. I'm, I'm raising money to buy a golf course. With, uh, with Mr. Rambles. We are the watermelon taxi. Sometimes, or well, a lot of the time, there's people here that need picking up, but uh, not today. I was hoping to make a little bit of extra cash to, um, so I've got something I can kind of go with, you know. The only downside of being a taxi driver is not many people actually need taxi drivers. And whenever, what the fucking hell is that? 
And whenever I am a taxi driver, oh, sorry, whenever I'm not in my taxi, loads of bloody people request taxis. It's, it's the same every freaking time. Where am I storing my... I don't remember where I'm storing the truck. I think it's down here somewhere. I need to go to another one of these, uh... Go find out where the van is. It's in the the mo the red multi-story one, but I don't know where that is. I can put a marker on it though. I think I can just swap them out once I put the marker on. <clears throat> That's a nice car there, actually. I hate the lights underneath, though. That guy in front of me just then, he was a player. What is this here? Jerry can. Uh, right. Vehicle list. Right, waypoint has been added. What happens if you die? You end up in hospital. And then you have, like, hospital bills to pay, basically. What's this? Herbert, another call with the governor. A few complications to work out on the golf front. You and I should probably sit down over a beer when we're both free to speak soon. Uh. Uh. Evening, Brian. Uh. Sounds like a good idea. Give me a call when you are available. Alright, so he's obviously had a chat with the governor. And uh, the governor's obviously a bit extra that we're going to need to do, I would assume. I could use the taxi. We're starting robbies as a roleplay rules. Essentially, uh, I can I can go and rob a place, but my I need to have a reason to do it. I can't just go and you know back to back rob places. Essentially, you need you know I would have to kind of like roleplay into that situation. I can't just get in my car and go I'm going to go rob a bank when my character has never robbed a bank before or, or any of that kind of shit. You have to like. You have to actually have a reason to do it, you know? Am I supposed to stop it? I am, right, okay. Like, I'd have to- I'd have to come up with a reason of needing to do it. Which would be money, of course. But, um... You know, then go through the planning stages of it and whatever. As long as it's... Makes sense. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's go back around. No. Cars are illegal. Um, I wouldn't say they're near impossible, but you have to... You have to expect a police chase, basically. Oh, no, I'm not saying you won't be able to get that. I'm saying... If you're a gun for hire, you're going to obviously need a reason to essentially go and shoot somebody like like you can't just go and shoot me on the on the street like if you came across me you can't just come up to me and gun me down there's like you know i you would have to have a reason to kill me in particular 
There it is. Still got no doors. Hello, sir. Wrong freaking. I don't know the rules about serial killers and stuff like that. If there is any rules. I don't, I don't know what they are. I mean, we haven't, like, dealt with the police. We've seen them going around, and uh, it's encouraged that um, police chases are, uh, like, interesting. What's the difference between a green one and a return vehicle? Oh, I actually want to go this side. Yeah, I, I would imagine being a serial killer is not really a thing. Um, there'll be a rule on it, I'm, I'm sure. Because otherwise, they'll just be going around being a dick. Yes, that's true. I did trick a cop once, actually. That's very true. What is this return vehicle thing? Okay, so I can't tax him in. Uh, I do not, know. Uh, it's in their Discord. I can't remember what it's actually called. The link is in the, uh, in the RP Discord, the Legacy Discord somewhere. I think Sinister linked me to it, to be honest. That's the only one I've got installed, just the map mod. That's it. Just because it's friendlier on the eyes. I really should get this van, van fixed. <laughs> and the doors added on. I think it's all coming out of my bank account, so. My god, come on. The lights are so freaking slow. They're all bloody red! Which ones are green? There we go. What is this return car for money thing? Oh! I can sell the car here, I think. This is uh, this is the auto place. Right, it means I can sell cars here. So I can probably sell my taxi here if I want to in the future. What the hell is all this freaking shitty ass parking going on here? I love how I still, <laughs> how I still lock the door here, man. Uh, how much money am I even on right now? Hang on. 207? I need 500 for a, uh, for a thing. Let's just withdraw 300 then. Actually, no, I'm going to need more than 300. Let's do, let's do, let's do another one, actually. No, I don't think you can. Hey, blame the guy next to me. With a shitty ass parking. Oh yeah, we're ages. I mean, we need 20 grand. Me and Ryan between us need 20,000. Uh, I'm on seven, so he needs to get 10 and I need to get 10. Today and tomorrow, we should be able to make a couple of grand. Uh, but I also want enough so I can buy my own car. I want to buy a Mini to start off with. Because it's like the cheaper end of, uh, of the cars I actually want. <clears throat> I could obviously finance it, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the idea of having to have... Having to have that amount of money each week. Or however often however, you know, it is. But as far as I'm aware, you can't sell 
stolen uh, stolen cars. We tried that. We couldn't seem to figure out any way of uh, creating new keys or anything like that. So, no, it's 40k for the rolls and 15 for the mini. You did come across a building slash ad that indicates that some could make keys somewhere in the city. Okay. Ass hero. Oh, glass heroes. <laughs> uh, there's delivery trucks. They don't pay very well, though. But it's more, it's, I guess it's a more stable income. Well, that's what I thought, Kit. But um, I couldn't seem to figure out where one, I think that was green just now, wasn't it? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, the Rolls Royce is really nice, actually. There are mail trucks, yeah. There is actually a mail truck. I've, I've driven past them before, but... Uh, there's a delivery driver as um, one of the jobs I can get for one to. Oh, this guy here, or lady here, is a delivery driver. She's doing a delivery one. It gets you about $500 or something like that, or $500 uh, per run. There's like 10 boxes you got to deliver or something like that. 10 or 12 boxes. I think this here, this auto service here, I think is owned by a gang because they're all green. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one's owned by a gang here. Because I see a lot of the people in there have like green items of clothing. <clears throat> uh, no, I don't think you can. Oh, are they? No, I don't know. I don't know if they are on this, uh, on the game. There's a lot of people here. That's a person just standing at a light. There's so many people here. Nice engine. Is there anything new in this, actually? Uh, no. I was going to have a 500 quid freaking oxygen tank. Ugh. Expensive. Right, I reckon we go for a diving trip. Um, do I need... No, I don't think I need any, uh... Any gas. I'm actually just in the road there. What is it with all these stupid glowing under the freaking car shit in this game? No, I've only got uh, enough money for one tank at the moment. I want to see how much I can get off just the one. As long as I make more than $500, I don't really care. And we're going to have to ignore all of the... Oh my god, is there no one in this freaking car? Yeah, that's their... Um... Yeah, I know it is. Just neons underneath the car. Uh, they were just honking. That's what that one sounds like. I just don't like the underglow. Like, everyone has it in this game. It just looks a bit shit, I think. <laughs> I 
I freaking need for speed underground. I didn't warp. God, I hate the lights in this game. <clears throat> I, used to, I mean, don't get me wrong, I used to love Need for Speed Underground too. I used to have a uh, Nissan 350Z in like copper, like copper orange, like a pearlescent copper orange with all the, you know, lowered, all the whole shebang. And yes, it did have freaking neons on it. When I actually, you know, am I supposed to stop here or further? Like, what the hell is this thing going across the road there? Or here? I don't really know. Now, Need for Speed Underground 2 was like... Is that on PlayStation or PlayStation 2? I don't remember. That was uh, that was an awesome game. I never played anything beyond that, though. Oh, no, hang on a minute. Did I? I played Most Wanted, actually. That was kind of fun. I was playing Forza the other day. That's actually really good. Forza 4. What's the Horizon for? Sorry, that's what I should call it. It's actually a really good game. Random player there. Yes! I used to love Burnout as well. I think it was Burnout... Th Burnout 3? Whatever the one with the crashes is. How you doing, Gingy? Burnout 3. Yeah, I used to love Burnout 3. What a game. Bloody peasant! Gosfather, thank you for the follow, dude. Welcome to the stream. An actual follower, guys, not a botted follower. <laughs> Welcome, dude. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh my god, a rabbit! Yeah, illegal street racing sounds like a pretty easy one to set up, to be honest. Whoops! <laughs> Yes. Legacy RP is the server. It's always the same server, yeah, for me. Because then you actually begin, you're actually able to develop, you know, like, actual, like, relationships with people and whatever. Right, going up. Rubbish you hadn't followed already. <laughs> well, I appreciate the follow, dude. Going down here now. Bunch of people already here by the looks of things. This should be pretty safe. What the hell was that? That car's still there. There's always a car there. In the water. This person dressed up as a knight? Why is this person got a knight helmet? Oh, is he robbing? Yeah, I don't know what the... I always see people coming down that bit of road, so I don't know. 
Also, isn't there a button where you can just like make yourself fall over? Oh, that's fine. It's set my timer. Hang on. For 14 minutes, and what was it? We did 14 minutes, 15 seconds, right? So it gives us 45 seconds to get out. Right, let's get undressed. That's not the button I meant to press. Uh, H, right? Uh, so we take off the tie. For some reason I put on these weird shoes. Yes. Yeah, I know. I just didn't put it on my phone at the time. I don't know what that guy back here is doing, though. Make sure I'm definitely locked up. Yeah, we're locked. Let's go. Good evening, sir. I can't seem to hear anyone. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, he said it to me. There we go. Just going for a leisurely swim. Uh, they're not glitched. It's just that's what I think. Until you actually buy, essentially, no shoes, it does that. Um, I think you will have to actually figure out how to... I don't know how you actually go no shoes, but... That is the default for no shoes. I must have been alive. What? What person just say? So Herbert going for his morning swim. the light blue meter does it really Let's have a look oh yeah it does go down right so that's the me right okay that's interesting so the light blue meter is it right so we still know it's about 15 minutes but that's interesting nice one rayan nice one Oh, really? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know then. So the green one is... Um, the green one is health. The second one along... The, the dark blue one is water. Light blue one is air now. Uh, the, the, one, the next one over is speaking. The one that goes pink there. That's speaking. I have no idea what the red one is. The big green one at the top is your health. And I would assume the other one next to it is... Um, is armor. Right, time is at the ready. Let's get the uh, the oxygen tank on. And we are go. Let's go loot some shit. Yeah, I don't know how to, how to actually properly change clothes, you know, as you're going around. Yeah, one of them's armor, so. Yeah, I'm not going to go around spending an hour trying to sell it to a mechanic. I did that last time and everyone had already, had already bought all their shit, so. I'm not going to bother doing that. Takes forever. This is horrible to swim in this mode. This is weird. I'm constantly drifting upwards. Like, this is horrible.
Much better. We'll take this anyway. We can drop in here, I guess. I mean, I'm just going to put a bird song out. Fuck it. Easier said than done, unfortunately. Most people already have it. Um, you got to remember, there's a lot of people doing this, so for the extra like ten dollars or like for the extra one hundred dollars, I feel like it's better just to go and sell up ASAP and then um, come back, you know. Oh, I know that. Yeah, I did that last time. But I'm trying not to chip in too much of the uh, the savings on the side. Like if I make like a thousand with this, I'll probably use that for tanks and then go and uh, go and get you know like a major, go for a major one. That's what I did last time. I did one trip at the beginning, bought some tanks with that money, and then um, went back and did some extra about, you know, did some extra. I, mean, I should be able to sell this for nearly a thousand. It won't be far off. Um, which I can use to get some more tanks. And some fuel. Uh, Lockpicks from the uh, the tool shops. I'll show you. Hang on. Actually, hang on. How much cash have I got on me right now? God. Uh, you get them from places which have this on it. Like the crossing mechanical looking shit. No idea how much money I've got on me. 72, that's more than enough. Oh, nice. Yeah, they do that on, um... They do that on NoPixel. On NoPixel, they've got, like, different starred... You know, starred versions of, like, a three-star pelt, for example, is worth more than a, a one-star pelt. A nice 61. I'm pretty sure NoPixel uses um, 5M as well, so I'm quite surprised they haven't got, you know, even more similar things on. Alright, let's see how much we make from this showing. <clears throat> no, protocol rabbit wouldn't. But going actually out and, like, shooting a deer, for example, going, like, chilling out in the wilderness and shooting a deer get you more. You know, maybe a one star or a two star pedal, for example. Hmm. 
Right. So, what are we on? Uh, we're on 42. There we go. One th so we made a grand, basically. We just made a thousand. So I can spend uh, that 1,000 on two, two tanks. And then uh, it's hard to really say because I don't know all the exact kind of things. This one has more players than uh, than NoPixel does. NoPixel, you know, it's extremely popular with like big streamers. Um, I don't really know. But I, I would say NoPixel was probably further along. Yeah, so you can pretty much double your money, essentially. Just depending on how lucky you get. No, I missed it. I just said that it was in the road. It depends how lucky you get. Sometimes you get more, sometimes it's less, but... The good thing is, while you're doing that, you're making a small amount of money for your regular job anyway. I'll tell you what, let's go do it... Again. I don't see many other players, like chatty other players. You know? Yeah, 2,000 in profit, which I think is pretty decent. You know, I spend 1,500 and get basically three grand in profit, so. Address. Welcome to the stream. Why is there loads of people? Are these all like Mexicans waiting to work or something? They actually are. I have never noticed that before. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, yes. Flat tires are a thing, yeah. Uh, I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, really? It's freaking 7% bullshit in this game, man. I hate this tax feature. Just add it on, for God's sake. I'm probably off by, like... $30 or something stupid. Yeah, I know it is. And it's stupid. <laughs> it's freaking stupid. Just list the price. Stop lying on your freaking uh, your tags. Just list the price. I still don't really understand why they don't. Did that many people have businesses in the US that like, you know, that will not need to know what the tax prices is? It's so freaking stupid. It doesn't make any sense. How does it make it easier? That's just laziness, surely. Because they can't be bothered to change the tax. That just seems so counterintuitive. <laughs> Matrix. <laughs> I 
he's gonna get some more money out now. Yes, it's set the entire time. But regardless, so what, yeah. But what difference does that make? Is it is it purely out of laziness from not changing? Yeah, but so. Even if it's at a state level, why the shop doesn't just display an individual amount? Like, regardless of whether it changes or not, all you have to do is change the price tag, right? That you, like, like, the shop will regularly change what is on the shelves and where they are and all this kind of shit. And the prices of those things. So why not just add it on? Why does it need to not be on? It seems lazy. Yeah, but what happens if the thing, what happens if the price of the actual item changes? You're going to have to print a new tag. So if you just print all the tags that show how much it is, and then you just change them whenever, how often does tax change? Oh, shit. You know, the, the way in which it's like... Oh, for God's sake. The way in which it's almost... Oh, bloody hell. It's almost described as though, like, the taxes are changing on, like, a week... If it was changing on a weekly basis, I'd get it. Is it, like, every... Is it, like, every year? Or is it every four years? Whenever, like, elections are, whatever? It just seems weird that there isn't, like, shops or, or, or American the system or whatever hasn't just implemented a program that just does it and then will print out the correct numbers that it just says. Because it just, it just comes across as, like, a super sleazy way of making people spend more money. Let's do another 100. Should be more than enough. No, I, I, like, I understand it. Like, I, I get the reason why it's done. But at the same time, to me, I'm like, I don't see why there isn't just something that, you know, it's not like there's someone, it's not that they employ someone at Walmart to figure out all of the different tax values on a, on a freaking, on a, uh, on a bunch of items. Like, surely, surely there's a computer program that just knows all the items, knows all the categories of items, knows what percentage is on that particular item, and then just goes, okay, it's this much, including tax. You know, let's say you buy a pair of jeans, and it's 10%, or whatever. You know, and it's like, oh, these are $50 at retail, therefore, they're $55, to anyone that's actually going to buy them. Oh, okay, we know these are jeans. They have been categorized as jeans. Or whatever. This is the proof. And this is the amount it is. And this is how much it costs. Someone is still going to have to go out and put that ticket on the item regardless of whether the tax is there or not. Yeah, and if it's tax exempt, then it just doesn't get added on. My point is, there are surely computer. Oh, dude, I didn't realise. 
There is surely a computer program that does all this. And it just is fine, right? You know, I understand back in the day it would have been a little bit more awkward, but... I don't get why it's not done anymore. Like, what do I say anymore? Why it's not done now? It just, to me, it doesn't make any sense. But that's that's just me because I'm used to it not being that way. But like, it just seems weird. Good impact sales figures. No, I under, I get that. I get that people will think they're paying more, but also it's like you're not. You're just not. We're just not adding tax anymore. It's already added. Like, it's just. To me, I'll be, I'll be at the I'll be at the cash desk going, oh, excuse me, how come it's five dollars more today? Oh, it's not. We've just added the tax now onto the actual amount that it costs. You know, so you can see the full amount. So I'm not gonna add I'm not gonna add on, you know, I'm not gonna pull an extra five dollars out of my ass and add it on to this this transaction, and you'll just accept it. Now it just says how much you're not gonna pay any more. They'll be like, oh okay. Problem solved. <laughs> I understand, though. It's been done that way for such a long time. Changing it would confuse everybody and everyone would riot because, it, you know, for the nonsense reason that it looks like it's more, but it actually isn't. Um, no, I get it. Like, I understand. To me, it just sounds really stupid. <laughs> like, I get, I get the psychology behind it. I really do. Trust me. Uh, it just sounds bizarre to me, that's all. See, I should be smart here, and I should leave a tank in the trunk. So when I come and dump off the first load, giggity, um, I can just grab it. I mean, they would have to roll it out across all shops at the same time, and they would have to announce that it's changing on a particular date, and they would have to go and do X, Y, you know, you, you know I get it. There's a lot of setup to it. If they were going to change it, though, they would have to literally be... It would have to be countrywide. It would have to be announced on the news that on this day, tax will be shown. Sir, you appear to be on the floor. Is everything okay? Do you have any legs? No? Okay. You know, you'd have... There would have to be, like, a countrywide change. You know, and it would be like, this is changing... At the beginning of 2022, get ready. You're not going to be paying any more. It just looks like you might. But until you actually get to the checkout and nothing else added on, there you go. Of this ground feature. <laughs> Kick the shit out of a mountain lion. <laughs> it wouldn't happen anyway, that's fair. But that's what I mean, though. The only way it would ever work was for it to be a national rollout. It would have to be, like, the president would have to go, you are doing it this way now. Shut up. You know, and then they would have to do it, obviously. I assume. I mean, the UK, we pay a lot of money on uh, petrol slash gas or whatever you want to call it. He doesn't have that authority. Oh, wow. The most powerful man on the earth can't even do that. <laughs> Sorry, quote unquote, the most powerful man on planet can't tell some people to do it this way anymore. Okay, I'm par you, know, you know I'm paraphrasing. He's obviously not going to say that, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you see, tax and federal stuff, uh, state and federal, sorry, like, 
obviously to me, I don't, I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't, you know, to us, it's just, it is what it is. But I understand, obviously, you've got a bunch of different states, and I think federal's essentially the, in, like, the, isn't federal essentially like the overarching government? Like, I guess the president or whatever. And state is obviously each state, isn't it? Right, yeah, that's a good way of putting it, actually, to be fair. Yeah. That's what I mean. You know what I mean? That's, that's essentially what I said, right? So, federal is the overarching government. How do you, Nico? Right, we're going to go for another, like, two dives, and then we're going to go and have a little roam around and see what we come across. This should bump up our, uh... Should bump up the, uh, the old money in the bank. <clears throat> yeah, see, that makes sense, Jasmine. Because ultimately, that's the same thing, realistically. You're showing both prices. Some places in the UK do that here, but not many, like, shops. It will only ever be, like, UK, um, online businesses and whatever. For God's sake! <laughs> oh, bloody hell! Oh, bollocks. There's no way we're moving this now. I don't have a tow truck and pull this out or not. I could go and ask someone down here to do it. I haven't even got the money for a tow truck, I don't think. I don't understand why there's no route down here. I can't push it over. You can't do that. I'm not near enough anything. The only thing I could do is go and ask someone down here. <laughs> Let me mark this on the map. <laughs> My van is upside down. What if you could potentially push it over for me? And I'll pay him like $50 or something like that. Oh, Jesus. I'm so going to die going down here, aren't I? I swear there's a button where you can just like fall over. 
I don't know what that button is, but I swear there's one where you can just essentially, like, your legs just go beneath you and you can fall over. I don't know what it is, though. Z is, like... No, it's not. That's the dive. <clears throat> no one's gonna help me, are they, down here? There's those two there that I'm pretty sure are AFK. Uh, good afternoon. I, I require some of your assistance if you're available. What is, what is it? Uh, I, I seem to have, uh, you know, my van may have, it seems to be on its, on its, you know, it's turtled up the, up the top of the hill. I'm curious about if you have a vehicle you might be able to knock it back over with or I'm going to have to, I don't think I have enough money for the tow trucks. Yeah, I got you. Oh, you are a legend, sir. I will, uh, I'll hop in with you and show you where it is. <laughs> He's going to do it. What a beast. This guy's a legend. Thank you very much, sir. If you just head up this hill here, uh, it's towards the top near the buildings at the top. I will, I will happily give you some money. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Imagine if he toppled over. So it's up here. Uh, yes, if you keep going mostly straight up a little bit to your left, it's sort of against a bush. That's it, just up, just at the top here, a little bit further. Uh, just on your left here, this big bush on your left, it should be in here somewhere. Uh, there it is! <laughs> Jesus. Yes, I know. Jesus. Uh, if you can't do it, sir, I'll have to try yeah. and call a tow truck, but I very much appreciate it. <laughs> Did you ever think about doing, uh... Wait, hold up, I may... I'd be able to help you, hold up. What's he doing? Oh Is my... Bloody word! How on earth did you do that? Are you magic? You gotta think. You gotta do. You gotta do. Uh, think slash flip. Oh bloody hell! I had no idea. Well, thank you very much, sir. I'm gonna, how, where are you? What is your? I'm gonna send you fifty dollars. Hey. Five three one. Uh, Five, three, give one. cash. Five three one fifty. Oh, one second. Oh, one. Cash. Give. Ash, five, three, one, fifty. There you are, sir. Thank you very much for your assistance. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Slash flip. Oh my God, I had no idea. Absolutely no idea that was a thing. Better than, better than, better than.